Hello YouTube, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. So, this video that I'm putting out here wasn't supposed to be in the garage. It was supposed to be out on the bike doing a vlog. But sometimes things don't work out as planned. Alright, so as you know, my last video I installed the uh, Memphis Shades El Paso uh, Sport Shield on my Harley Davidson Iron. 1200 Sportster um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I went out I was all excited to shoot the video you know going for a ride going down the, the highway at highway speeds and loving life behind my El Paso didn't quite work out like that so let me explain to you where I am and what's going on so I took the bike out for a ride you know, down on the back streets here. I had my cameras on, it was all good. I decided to go up on the Merritt Parkway. Soon as I got up to about 50, 50 miles, 55 miles an hour, I'm gonna tell you the wind buffeting that I experienced was incredible, all right? It, the turbulence at the height of my helmet was intense. It was so intense that my visor was actually chattering up and down, almost seeming like it wanted to lift. I have the footage of that. Maybe I'll somewhere in here, I'll just add a piece. I'll leave the voice here, but I'll add a piece of that footage. And you could see me on the bike. It was very uncomfortable. So I came home. I did a little bit of research and um, found out about the wind buffeting and everything. And... I guess, you know, the angles you have your your shield on will change your wind buffeting and the vacuum behind it. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's not just toss the windshield on and you're good. Um, so that being said, I had tried, the, the shield on my bike was almost straight up and down. It had no pitch back to it. So I said, well, let me see if I could adjust it and pull it back. Um, and unfortunately it was hitting everything and I couldn't get it to, to lay back anymore. So it was stuck straight up. So that led me further down a rabbit hole in an investigation. And like I, I did a video about buying the, uh, the manual for the bike, the service manual. And what I found here, um, I'll go to this camera. I'll show you, we'll read the, uh, the thing here. For adjusting your handlebars, see figure 2-158, adjust to 11 degrees or end of grip to the ground is in the dimension. But on the next page, if we go to um, figure 2-158, the proper adjustment for those handlebars from Harley-Davidson is supposed to be you know, there's your fork line going straight up. It's supposed to be 11 degrees behind that, okay? So I'm gonna take you over to my bike real quick. And you look at where Harley, the dealer, has my handlebars, all right? There's your line coming up. They're actually leaning about 11 degrees forward okay so I've always felt like I'm reaching a little bit as I ride you know my arms are stretched out I feel like I'm reaching a little bit so I think my bars are actually in the wrong place too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my bars it back to at least line up with the fork I'm not gonna go to full 11 degrees back because I'm not a small guy so I'm going to do that, and in doing that, I'm going to be able to put the sport shield back on the bike and lean it back a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to try to get it up as high as I can. And after all of that is done, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do another vlog. All right, so I got the bike all back together. I adjusted my mirrors. All of that's tight. I readjusted my phone, my GoPro. Um, just so you guys know something, when you go to adjust your turn signals, there's a little 
Allen screw right there. You loosen that and they'll move anywhere you want and you retighten them when you have them where you want. All right, and then I threw the, the windscreen back on. Look at it, guys. Look at the difference. If you look at the install video to where it was, to where it is now, it actually laid, these came all the way forward. That went back. Um, it laid back nice. So now it's a little more angled. Um, I definitely feel a little more comfortable on the bike. I got a little bend in my arms. Um, is I will take this out for a vlog and uh, go up on the highway and we'll see. Hopefully it fixes the problem. If not, then I am going to have to figure something else out and figure what the heck is going on, guys. So All right, so I went out to do another vlog with my readjusted El Paso 15 inch uh, sport shield and basically I had the same problem a lot of buffeting um, my visor was actually chattering you could see my jacket is actually lifting and if you look you could see where the wind it looks like it's pushing in two spots I'm gonna put a picture of the El Paso sports shield up and you'll see on the bottom corners is a cutout you know as part of the design and it almost looks like that is allowing the air to push in on the jacket it almost looks like it's lining up perfectly for that and then I don't know if that combined with the larger opening around my headlight is allowing air to come into the vacuum and causing a ton of turbulence behind this sport shield. Either way, I am not happy. Um, so I can't say that it's exactly the El Paso sport shield itself. Maybe the problem is because it's not the proper headlight fit and all that air is getting in there. So I'm not going to say the El Paso sucks or whatever like that because it's not a hundred percent the right product on my bike so i'm not going to put it down i did call memphis shades i have to say that their customer service um as far as answering the phone never seen anything so impressive i called um a person actually answered the phone and i mean it was within seconds of calling that i had somebody on the line asked her questions about the uh, sport shield and she answered. I asked if she had one that, you know, she'd recommend for the Sportster and she wouldn't actually come out and say, you know, this one seems to do better than this one or anything. Wouldn't really answer any questions like that. All she kept saying was, you got to make sure the height of the screen is properly adjusted for you. And the 15 inch seems really good to me. It's it, any higher. I feel like I'd be kind of looking through the screen and I don't want that. So um, what I decided to do is they didn't have it in gradient black, but I've purchased the Del Rio sports shield. It doesn't have those little cutouts on the side or anything. And I was able to get it in with the proper headlight cutout so i have that ordered i got it in black smoke i didn't get the dark black smoke or whatever it is because i want to be able to see through it a little bit um so i got that for now if it's a great screen and it works eventually i'll either do something to paint the bottom to make it more gradient or i'll end up having to get a new one I don't know. I, at this point, I just want to get one that works and does what I want it to do. So that's on order. It's going to show up. Hopefully, it's been cold here in Connecticut. Hopefully, I don't end up getting snow before I get the sport shield and I can get the shield changed. Actually, the hardware will all be the same. I just got to change it to the new shield and go out and do a vlog and hopefully it fixes it. But let me tell you something. With the setup I had here, um, not good. Helmet, chat, the visor chatters. Just look at my jacket. You can see the, the upward wind pressure on the jacket. 
Um, so very uncomfortable ride. All right, so till I get the next screen or I shoot a different video, this is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice, and stay safe.